Am I the asshole? For refusing to move my wedding date because of my competitive stepsister? My stepsister, Ren, has always been competitive with me. It was mostly fueled by her mom, who was always extremely competitive between the families, but Ren kept it up. I'll admit I fed into it a bit when we were teenagers, but I grew out of it. She never did. She goes out of her way to try to one-up me, and she thinks everything I do is to one-up her, which isn't the case. That's the background to the main issue. Ren is getting married in November, and she's been planning the weeding for over a year. I got engaged a month ago. My fiancé works an extremely high-pressure job, and because of the nature of his job next year, and the year after will be incredibly stressful. It's part of the reason he proposed when he did. I don't want to wait two years to get married, so I got in touch with a wedding planner who was able to work something out so that we can get married in August. It will be an extremely small wedding, a reception dinner of about 20 people over one weekend. This is in contrast to the 150-person traditional wedding that Ren has planned. Ren is livid that we're planning to get married before her. She knows the reasons but she still insists that I've planned this to upstage her wedding. She is giving her dad no end of shit for putting money towards my wedding and helping me to humiliate her her words. She is also causing trouble amongst mutual friends she has with my fiancé. This is not a huge deal because they're not wanting to get involved. But it was extremely embarrassing because she announced the date of our wedding before we did. My mom and her dad are now hinting that maybe we should move the wedding. They keep saying maybe a winter wedding I guess after Ren's would be better, and that it would be nice if the family could attend both weddings with everyone on good terms. My stepbrother has also said that while he knows I didn't do it on purpose, because of past issues this will be extremely hard for Ren to get past. He also said I was naive for thinking that just because my wedding is different from hers that she would let it go. He may be right about that. I still don't really want to change the date of the wedding. I don't think doing it in the winter will appease Ren, and to have to wait over a year just because of her childish vendetta seems grossly unfair. But I don't like being the one to rock boat, and I do sometimes feel a bit sorry for Ren. Maybe it isn't the time to take a stand. I really don't know if I'm in the wrong here. Not the asshole. Ren sounds spoiled as hell, and your family is doing nothing to change that. As soon as she took issue with this, everybody should have told her that she needs to drop it. Sounds like she's used to throwing a tantrum, until everyone else is exhausted enough to just give her what she wants, even if they know it's ridiculous. Is this how things usually go with her? Not the asshole. If you move your wedding, she is happy for the moment, until she manufactures a new problem. What if you have the first grandchild? The first house? The first dog or cat or whatever? Do what is right for you as if she wasn't there to complain, because she will complain about more. Will there not continually be a new competition? Not the asshole. You have 20 people invited. I am sure your wedding will not out. Do her 150. Not the asshole. Why do families always ask the person, not causing the drama to change to keep the peace? Tell the stepsister to get over it to keep the peace. The clear solution, and I am sure it is what Ren is hunting at, is to have a double wedding in November. Not the asshole completely, but I do suspect the complicated history of the family dynamic here is playing a role. I'll admit I fed into it a bit when we were teenagers, but I grew out of it. She never did. She goes out of her way to try to one-up me, and she thinks everything I do is to one-up her, which isn't the case. Because of past issues, this will be extremely hard for Ren to get past. You are absolutely not the asshole for getting married, and Ren can stew. But you might be downplaying your own role in the previous drama here, IDK. Not the asshole. If you move your wedding to appease Ren, then she'll push for more. What happens if when kids are involved? New house or job? You either put a stop to it now, or it'll go on forever. As for the family, let them know you're hurt that they care more about Ren's tantrum than your wedding. Not the asshole. It's your wedding date and you have a genuine reason for doing it now. Also, if your mom and stepdad are already hinting that you should move your wedding, there's also the chance of them saying they won't help with financing the wedding if you don't change the date. 
Do your wedding at your planned date and maybe not invite your stepsister to avoid drama. With the way things are, I doubt she'll grow out of being spoiled, and your family is enabling it. Info. I'll admit I fed into it a bit when we were teenagers, but I grew out of it. She never did. My stepbrother has also said that while he knows I didn't do it on purpose, because of past issues this will be extremely hard for Ren to get past. Can you speak more to this? What was the most significant situation in high school that you fed into? It's likely that Ren is just spoiled. It's also possible that your past goes deeper than you're willing to say. Your stepbrother seems to have a pretty level head here. You know what, Esh, she sounds competitive. But you aren't convincing me that you didn't purposefully suddenly needed to get married to beat her to the punch. Your partner is going to be too busy the next two years, so what is the real point in being married, except to beat your stepsister? Either you've been with your partner a long time, and now magically it has to happen, or you've not been together long, and once again, it now suddenly has to happen. I mean, you're saying that you've given up competing with Ren, and it's just super coincidental that you have to schedule your wedding before Ren's but after, she announced the date. I suspect that you made the choice you did because you knew it'd piss Ren off. But said, you're not getting married within the same month even, and weddings often come in clusters. It's not unreasonable to schedule a wedding within the same year as a family member. So, I guess not the asshole. Not the asshole you can be petty and say nope. This is the date I am not changing another thing. My life for Ren to feel like a princess, and I like the handmaid. So be there, don't be there. Your choice at this moment. Next level okay fine we want. Have a wedding. We will just elope, no one will get though be there, and we will have an extended in. Nuclear petty bitch option fine, I will change my wedding date just to make her highness happy. It will now be the day before hers. Then block everyone for a day or two. Good luck your family sounds exhausting. I'm confused. You said Ren's wedding was in November, and yours was going to be put together for August. Even if you waited until after hers, it's only a three-month difference. Why do you have to wait a year? I get both of your points. I really do. Although it does feel like you're trying to get yours done before hers for some odd reason. I have a feeling there's more to this than you were letting us know. Not the asshole and curious how close your weddings are though. But no, you don't have to move it. Doesn't mean moving. It wouldn't make life easier for you though.